What is going on, y'all? Um, I need to get my keys. Uh, but we are going to the garage now. A um, little bit of an update on the Civic. Uh, it's currently up in like Greenville, PA, which is like uh, Montgomery County near Berks County. It's out there, um, but it's a, a, a pretty area and it's at my buddy Ben's house. He is uh, he works at AWE Tuning and helps out some racers on the side with their builds and their projects. And he's a very good technician. He's very good at fabricating, brilliant guy. And I said, I took the car to him and I said, I want you to figure out the electrical issues and yeah, that's it. Just be done with it. So we did that. And so because the car is not with me, can't really do anything to the car. So instead I'm doing other stuff. So behind me, you'll see a tire rack on a trailer. I got that from a lemons racer. And uh, let me open the garage door, fire up the cigar and show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there is a BMW in my garage now, as opposed to a, an old Civic. And that's because the Civic is away. When the Civic is away, the BMW will play. Well, I guess it won't. But then here's the uh, trailer. So this is a tire rack. I got it from a lemons racer, as I mentioned. Um, it's a little bit too skinny. So we're gonna have to stand up and figure out how to get it mounted. You can see, see how it's like sits there. And then how it, how it sits here. Um, it's a little bit too skinny for my liking. And as a result, we're gonna have to, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off, this angle iron, and then figure out how I'm gonna weld it on. Um, but yeah, I'm kinda, you know, at a loss there. Um, Nathan Bookbinder did give me this free fuel jug. So thank you, Nathan. So I now have three fuel jugs. I need to get one more and I'll be complete. And today we're gonna be emptying that out first um, because I have a trip to New York this weekend. I wanna take that with me to the train station, not the BMW. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do brakes on the tow vehicle. I'm also going to do airbags in the rear because with all this additional tongue weight, um, the rear of the truck is gonna sag. So we're gonna put some airbags on it and yep. Okay, so as you can see, the tire rack is back on its side. It's disconnected from the trailer itself. Um, we had to cut off these braces. So these were going here and they were actually sticking out on the inside because the old trailer that this was on was a lot thinner. Um, now that I cut those off, my idea was originally to weld this on, weld that on because there's solid metal here and solid metal on the other side. And then it was to take this weld bead around the square tubing and then get some angle iron and then reinforce it with some angle iron. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to do that because it falls just short of this metal. So the trailer sits at about 80 inches in height with this tire rack on it. And the truck is about 70 inches or so, a little bit shorter. And so to avoid any issues with drag, i um, going to cut it down a little bit. And then because I'm cutting it down, I can take this and then pull it like out towards me and then slide it up and weld it. So I'm gonna try and sh shorten the height about four inches. Um, right now there's plenty of space underneath of this trailer to fit a Civic, the front of a Civic. So I, I think if I lower it four inches, it'll be enough contact to make strength. And then I can reinforce here and then here with some angle iron. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But whoever built this um, did a really good job. Everything is really square. Um, all the measurements are really precise. So I'm gonna try and be as good as I can with the measurements. Um, hopefully I can cut this with a jigsaw, but my jigsaw is junk. Um, so we'll try and uh, measure it up and see how it goes. All right, I <laughs> figured it'd be a good time to stop for a little bit, at least. Um, I'm really tired. I, I cannot wait for the season to be over, honestly. Um, I really wanna win championships and I think it shows. Um, I've been busting my ass almost every day and um, I'm just beat. So, I mean, this isn't any different. <laughs> I feel beat. But um, yeah, we ran some we ran some beads. You know, it's it's uh, not going to win any welding competitions for how beautiful it is, but it's it's definitely going to hold. Um, so what we did was we basically um, had to so like on this one, I basically measured the bottom first, and then I got it to 55 inches. So originally it was 59 inches, so we wanted to lower it 50. Four, we wanted to lower it four inches, so we got measured to five, 55 inches on the bottom one first. And then uh, since this is connected here, I had to basically pull this up 
And then I used some vice grips like for body for body panels and stuff. And basically brought it, pulled it up so that it was flat. So this is flush. And then I measured from there to there and it was 55 inches. So got some tacks laid down for that. And then on this side it was a lot easier because these two are not connected. So it was just basically weld, weld, you know, tack, tack. And then after I got it tacked down, I basically welded it all together. Um, so it's, it's pretty sturdy. It's probably honestly more sturdy than it was before, just because not only now do we have the thickness of the square tubing, but we have this part right here, which is reinforced. Um, to make it even stronger now, um, what I'm doing is I'm basically cutting angle iron. So this is angle iron, technically angle steel. And um, the angle, this uh, corner, corner piece steel, this 90 degree steel, we're cutting it on the bandsaw. So uh, we got all these gradations cut. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece and um, we're gonna use it to reinforce around the holes where they're open. So we'll basically weld like right here, weld here, and it'll cover that up. It'll add some rigidity and then um, it won't rust. It'll be more rigid and it'll be probably stronger than it was before. Um, then once this is done, uh, we're gonna have to weld the uh, plates, the angle iron to the trailer, um, which is, which is over here. So we're gonna have to weld these to the trailer. And then after we weld that to the trailer, um, we will weld the uh, tire rack to those um, around. Uh, we're going to need to triangulate it um, just because uh, it's not gonna have enough strength. So I don't know if I have metal for that right now. I might be able to take uh, this old camber gauge that I was using and cut it up because now I just use a digital level um, and it's just as good as trigonometry. So I'll probably cut that up. Um, that's what scrap metal's for. Make some little triangles and then triangulate it so that it's nice and strong, hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna get back to cutting and then I'll update you guys when I'm done with that. All right, y'all, so when you don't have a welding shield and you don't wanna blind your neighbors, you uh, make one out of a truck. Um, well, you know, truck, it depends on who you are. For me, it's a truck. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the rack. It's, it's pretty much done, it just needs paint. Um, it is bowed a little bit in the center. And the reason for that, the reason it's bowed a little bit is because um, it just barely fit on these this angle iron here. So I, I pulled the legs out a little bit and I welded it. The welds aren't amazing. They will hold, um, but they're not amazing. Um, I'm not a good welder. I just make things stick together. And, um, but yeah, so we basically, um, so we cut, we, you know, we cut this, uh, we got it extended out. As you can see, the welds are really ugly. Um, it's welded on these sides on, on the front and the back. It's also welded underneath so that it's nice and sturdy. Um, and then down here, what we have is we have, uh, these are 14 millimeter Honda bolts and, uh, these are some grade eight watt fender washers. And I just snugged them on with a, uh, with an impact gun and I put uh, Honda nuts on the back of them with more washers. And so basically you can remove this tire rack um, by undoing the bolts and just pulling it off. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, cutting anything off or, or getting rid of any welds because it's not welded to the trailer. Um, <clears throat> if you don't pay attention to it, it's kind of hard to see that's bowed. Um, but yeah, so let me, um, so these basically uh, are little triangles. I wanted to triangulate it a little bit to give it some strength. As you can see, you know, the welds are okay. Um, I really got lazy with prep work towards the end um, just because I was super tired. Um, but you know, I, ideally the prep work would have been better and the welds would have been nicer, um, but they're as good as they're gonna get right now. And I'm really not to worry about it. The only uh, fender washer that I'm missing is the one in the back. So I just kind of like threw two on there, um, but <clears throat> Yeah, it's 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 pretty damn sturdy. Um, so this bar over here, you can see my yard's a mess now. Um, but this bar over here, um, this goes through the center of the tires and the wheels. So you put that through, and yeah, it's uh, that's and then you can lock it. The, the previous owner of this tire rack gave me a lock, but he didn't have the key. He just didn't want it getting stolen. I mean, I honestly like I don't know who's gonna steal a bar out of a tire rack and I'm not putting tires on this trailer. I don't, it was weird. I, he could have just put some sort of pin in there, but yeah. So this basically goes in the other side and then you lock it. So no one can steal your tires. Um, so that's cool. So yeah, we have a tire rack guys. Um, Got to clean up the rest of the yard. 
but it was a day long project. You know, I started probably around, I would say 12 p.m. or maybe 12.30, 1 p.m. And I've been going all day. Went for a bike ride, came back, and then I started working on this. I thought I was gonna get to this. Um, I got some brake pads, I got some brake rotors, airbags for the rear of this. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I didn't get to get to that. I just got to the trailer, but it's looking awesome. I am super stoked. Um, I think I could probably climb on this and not break anything, but like you can see, I mean, you can shake the whole damn trailer with the, you know, with this, this mount, it's pretty damn sturdy. So I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, now my trailer has a tire rack. So I'm gonna clean this up, get a thumbnail picture and post it onto YouTube. Cool, thanks for watching guys.